Hey everybody, today I have a wonderful and special guest. Dr. Barry Lieberman is here to talk with us about medication, psychiatry, and the works, so stay tuned. So like I said, I have a wonderful and special guest. My friend Barry is here to talk with us about psychiatry and medication and answer all of our questions. I've heard from a lot of you that you either are told you need to see a psychiatrist and you have some concerns. So um, I guess, Barry, my first question is, what is a psychiatrist and why would someone need to see them? Well, a psychiatrist is a medical doctor mm -hmm. who's trained in both psychological problems and general medicine and specifically the overlap between medical issues pertaining to anxiety and depression mm -hmm. and the psychological components of that. So psychiatrists usually can do both psychotherapy, insight uh -huh. in oriented psychotherapy or supportive psychotherapy, but also do medications. But interestingly enough, even today, I saw somebody who has a medical condition, mm -hmm. but the psychiatric, the emotional reaction to that medical condition allows me to treat both the, that condition and treat them with anti-anxiety medication. Oh, interesting. And I have a lot of uh, viewers who have chronic illness or other right. things that contribute to uh, mental health issues. Right. Um, so you said that some psychiatrists do do psychotherapy as well? Yeah, fewer and fewer. I get complaints from people a lot that now when they see a psychiatrist, they see them for 10 minutes just for a psychopharmacologic, i.e. antidepressant mm -hmm. or antipsychotic or any anti-anxiety medication. But more, but, and that's happening more and more to my chagrin. Mm -hmm. I actually was not only trained in, but value doing psychotherapy and medications at the same time. Yeah, and I, um, for those of you who are curious kind of what the format is, it used to be, just like when you see a therapist like me, you see them for about an hour. Right. And so it gives the psychiatrist more information, I honestly think, so that they can better diagnose and treat. That's right. Um, but now what they call kind of med management is when you see somebody for maybe 15 to 20 minutes right and they a lot of my clients have even told me hey you sent me this person I walked in and they're like so um, well how are your side effects and da, da, da. it's just strictly about their medicine yeah. and then they want them to leave um, so knowing that it's transitioning to that um, do you think that there will be many psychiatrists left who do uh, psychotherapy Thera as well yeah well I hope so I mean I you know I just babysat for a wedding of a 36-year-old psychiatrist in San Francisco who does do psychotherapy oh, in addition to medication. To so I'm glad yeah. to see people doing it because it really bothers me. I am one of those people who definitely believes in treating the whole patient mm -hmm. and, a, and a patient is not just a bundle of chemicals. Yeah, agreed. And I think that um, it's good for those of you out there to know that you have options and different psychiatrists available to you to fit your needs. So just like when you find a therapist, I tell you to make sure you kind of like them enough that you could talk with them. Make sure that when you're looking into a psychiatrist, if you have insurance and there's a big list they send you, try out a couple until you feel a connection or maybe find someone who does therapy if that's what you're wanting as well. So that maybe you get it's a one-stop shop and you don't have to see you know, a Barry and myself. You just go see your psychiatrist and they do therapy as well. Just make sure you're always comfortable and doing what's right for you. Thank you so much for answering our question. Sure. By the way, I compare that to dating. It's it true. Has to do with compatibility, mutual yeah. compatibility. Yeah, I always tell them you have to at least feel like I like you enough to maybe see you again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's how to tell. It's the same thing. Yeah. By the way, even the use of medications, I'll actually use the metaphor of dating or the analogy to dating. Yeah. Because it because a medication that might might work wonderfully for the exact same condition for one person may not be effective or maybe even intolerable for somebody else. That's a really good analogy. So, yeah, so the whole process, and, and I'll, we, when we're dating, we often say, I don't feel chemistry for that person. So when we're doing chemistry with these medications, I say uh, uh, dating. Uh -huh. So dating That's is true. Chemistry. What works for one person doesn't work for all of us. So thank you so much. Sure. And we will have Barry on to answer more of your questions. So make sure you click here to subscribe and check out my other videos. Till next time. I've been in this world a long time. I know, you're, time. you're more you're more seasoned than I am yeah. when it comes to filming, I'm sure. I have also done interviews, too. Before. Yeah, that's true. And in three, two... Hey, everybody. Today, I have a wonderful special guest. My friend Barry here is going... Bleh. I didn't like that. I got to start over. I need to say Dr. Barry Lee, even though I know you don't like... But, you know, 
I never call you doctor, but you're always like, just call me Mary. Sir. Sir, Sir Barry. Sir Barry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more time. <laughs> we could do that version too. <laughs> okay. Oh, start. I can't repeat that shit all over again. I don't like it, Sean. <sighs> Get it right. <laughs> If I need to pick my nose or Katie's nose, just go for it. But you can't pick your nose.